What is up, MMA fa fans? This is tudolentoforshort.com, and today I have the pleasure to talk with UFC fighter Mr. Vince Morales. Hello, Vince. Welcome back. How are you today? Tudor, doing great, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, we are recording a few hours after Mother's Day. Um, I noticed that you put a very nice picture with uh, your mother, uh, I'm guessing here. Uh, <laughs> uh, when was it taken? Uh, that was, uh, that's actually my, my stepmom. That was, um, okay. how long ago was that? That was four, no, four or five years ago, I want to say, something like that. It was right after one of my fights. She's like one of my biggest supporters. So yeah, she, she does a lot for me and, and all my siblings. So of course, special thank you to her. Uh, okay, okay. But I understand, I understand. Um, so uh, you told me that she is your stepmother. Uh, may I ask you, what uh, did she say when you told her that you were an MMA fighter? Uh, she's all about it for whatever reason. Like uh, she, she <laughs> handles it better than my dad does. My dad gets a little little pale in the face and stuff like that but uh uh as long as i'm happy and doing what i like i think that's kind of all, all she wants from me so yeah she 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 loves it she she knows how, how how hard i work going into like everything i do so if, it, if it's something like this and i can put my all into it and come out on top she's all about it and uh did she ever um you know came and watched you fighting in the ufc Oh yeah, uh, um, in the UFC. So she's been to Canada, Houston, Sacramento, and and the last one here at the Apex. So she's been all over. She she she's real good about being right there with me. They they like to see and experience it in person. So <laughs> uh, I believe that must be quite an experience. Um, listen about the UFC. You were supposed to face Natalia Wood in uh, london uh, uh, but you had to pull out of the fight during uh, you know fight week what happened on that occasion man uh, right as soon as i got off the plane um i got just hit with a real bad flu or something hey Alice. sorry we got, got a new puppy and he likes to eat everything uh, <laughs> uh yeah i got i got hit with a real bad flu and uh and just right away i felt like my uh i got off the plane and felt like my bones were cold and i was like well i'm I'm freezing right now. I just, I, I, I was thinking, wow, this weather here is really crazy. It's cold. And, uh, and I went and checked in at the hotel and, um, went to the room and, and did all the fighter check-in stuff. And then when I got back to the room and, uh, I was still really cold and I was wearing, I was wearing a big like winter jacket. I was like, what the hell's going on? And I, I took a hot shower and a hot bath, just trying to warm up and, and still couldn't get it. And then I started feeling real, real weak and, uh, and, just lightheaded and I was like I don't know what's going on and, and I and I was scheduled for physical therapy so um I went over there and Im immediately she could see like in my face that something was like a little little off so she took my, the Heather with the PI took my temperature and I was a uh, like a 101 fever and then uh she's like I don't know about I was just, she goes I gotta I gotta let the doctor know because that's kind of protocol um and she goes I wouldn't do anything for cutting weight or anything we'll see how you feel tomorrow and I was like okay great so I kind of, I didn't think much of it then. And then I went and, uh, I went to bed, woke up in the morning, even worse. Um, I was, I was having hot and cold sweats all night. My bed was like soaked. My fever was still super high. I was, I was just, just trashed like physically. And then, uh, I went and saw, saw her again. And then she called the doctor and they ended up pulling me from the fight saying, I can't, I can't cut weight under the, under the conditions. So it is what it is, I suppose. It wasn't COVID, right? No, no, I, I had taken like three COVID tests because we were kind of certain it was because I've never been sick like that. But uh, I've also never been cutting weight and got sick and flew across the flew across the world, really. So um, I, th I think it was just a, a combination of everything. It just it, it hit me pretty bad. So and they didn't even clear me to fly back from from London until until fight night. So I, I was literally there just laying around in the hotel sick for six days, just depressed and sad and angry and frustrated is what yeah. it is yeah yeah I, I see that um and were you able to to attend the event or uh, yeah were I, you... oh. yeah well, once i got cleared to, to fly back I, I started feeling a little bit better on friday actually and uh i still didn't have much of an appetite or anything but uh but yeah i got i got cleared to fly back then they're like oh, well you're scheduled for monday and i was like okay well 
might as well just stay for Monday because we, we, we had kind of, my girlfriend lived in England for a little bit. So we, we kind of had some plans to go check some things out. So I kind of had to tough it out on Sunday after fight night, but they st did still get me some tickets for fight night and take care of me. So that was, that was nice. The, the arena, the whole event was insane as far as the crowd goes. So uh, I don't know. Do you mind the fact that you weren't able to, to compete considering, you know, the, the arena, the crowd. And yeah, the, I, the heat I, I hated, I hated missing out on it. Like be, being, I mean, being there, I didn't even really want to go. Uh, my teammate, my teammate, Cameron else, he's from there and he was, he lives lives in England and stuff. And he, he kind of talked me into going. I just wanted to lay around the hotel room. I didn't feel like, like I, I, I had to pull out of the event. So I didn't even feel like going to the event, but talk me into it. We ended up ha ha having a pretty good time and, and it was a cool to see the atmosphere and everything. So in the end, I'm kind of glad I went, but still at the end of the day, it was, it was like a bittersweet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing here for, uh, for you, it was indeed uh, bittersweet. Um, yeah. you, you mentioned your girlfriend, you mentioned London. I actually saw that you got engaged engaged during uh, your trip yeah. overseas. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. After, um, on, on Sunday, for, like I was saying, for the, the day we had already, I had already had planned, I kind of structured everything. I wanted to, the whole goal was go there, fight, win, then propose. So I, I did what I could. And uh, I, I almost backed out of doing that too, just, but it was, how often am I ever going to be in London? And, and we had, we had a great dinner reservation and it was, and it was all, it was beautiful ju just in that sense as well. So I didn't want to like, I didn't want to let one take away from the other. Does that make sense? So regardless of outcome from the fight, I was still going to be proposing anyways. So yeah, came back, uh, came back engaged. <laughs> well, congratulations on that. Uh, May I ask you so if you already picked the, the date for your wedding? uh balls in her court now i got the ring <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever she wants to do so uh we're still talking about that trying to figure out the right time okay i want this it's obviously uh you know it's personal stuff um right. <laughs> right now you're scheduled to face jonathan martinez on may the 21st uh of course i are you, are you still with the uh, syndicate mma right Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. That's where we, we. That's where I've been basically in camp for like three months now. Anyways, and uh, um, this one was kind of short notice, but kind of not. It's kind of in that sweet spot. Like I like about five weeks out. So yeah, we're we're right there when we got the call. We're like hell yeah, let's fight. Like we started doing our tra little training sessions, and making sure everything was sharp where it needed to be, and and here we go. I'm I'm excited, and it's here in Vegas. Like I get to stay home, so. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, since you pulled out of your latest fight, which actually was on short notice uh, too, uh, mm -hmm. but did you feel the pressure to uh, accept this one, perhaps? Not at all. I was trying to get rebooked with with Nathaniel Wood actually because I, that he was somebody I had a uh, I had called out back in December after the last fight. Um, so I was really I was really hoping that fight was going to get rebooked, um, and then. Uh, and to my knowledge, it was. And then all of a sudden, he's he's too fat for the weight class, and he's he's moving up a weight. So I, I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that, but good, whatever. Moving on from that, from from him, uh, I think Jonathan Martinez is a great fight. I think we we both match up well, both on a, a two fight two fight streak right now. Um, he's a solid opponent. It's a it's a good test. So I guess you hear uh, MMA fans won't see uh, you know your fight with uh, Natalia Wood anytime soon at least not at uh bantamweight i don't know I, i'm thinking he goes up because he's not he's not the biggest bantamweight or he wasn't the biggest bantamweight he's definitely not going to be the biggest flyweight um we'll see i imagine he goes up to to featherweight and gets beat up a little bit and i'll be the grim reaper ready to welcome him back to the bantamweight division so we'll see so is is it that matchup is something that you're still pursuing i, st right? I still like it um I like it even more now just because he had some little little egotistical things to say on Twitter about about the whole thing, which is which is sideways compared to our DMs in the conversation after I apologized for having to for getting sick and like there was nothing I could do. Um, so I like it even more now just because now I just want to smack him. <laughs> yeah, I got that impression that he didn't like it. Uh, that you pulled out of your fight and okay oh, that's I, I, it's understandable but you know he seemed like really pissed and he implied that 
there was something you know off behind your your yeah program. yeah which, which, which i don't like because because that is definitely not like that's way out of character for me and for you to even insinuate that especially when we had already talked about things uh it, it's it's a weasel, it's like a weasel move to me so i i uh i did take it a little bit personal um and then immediately he was trying to say oh that's not what I meant. I was just trying to get it rescheduled. Like, oh, really? Because now you're leaving the weight class. It's just, it's funny to me. Whatever, dude. I'll be, I'll be here when you're ready to man up, become a professional, and figure out how to wake up properly. Well, hopefully, you know, for me that's a very interesting matchup, and hopefully it will, it will go down uh, somewhere in the, in the future. Um, fingers, crossed. fingers crossed, right? Um, who have you been uh, preparing with uh, to, you know, to face Martinez? Uh, right now, uh, Cameron Ellis has been a big help. We got um, Davey Grant's in town. Uh, he's been doing his camp here. He's fighting this week. Um, I'm actually cornering, cornering him this weekend as well. Uh, I got a lot of good work in with him. Uh, Jay Perrin's been around. My Rob's been coming through. My cousin Ricky just came to town tonight or last night. So uh, I'll be training with him in like like an hour. So I'm, ex I'm excited. I've, I've been training with a bunch of real solid people in preparation for this guy. So uh it's a, a little bit of revenge at the guy at the guy's teammate Gutierrez because he stopped me with the leg kick. So I, if I can't get him, I'll get the next best best thing until I can work back up with the rematch with him. Yeah, you just told me that you're going to be cornering uh, David Grant. Uh, who's going to be in your corner, though? In my corner, I've got um, I got my fiance Shino, I got John Wood and Cameron Else again. Yeah. And um, may I ask you, what do you expect from your next opponent? Um, for the most part, I expect a. I don't. I don't expect the highest volume from him. I mean, the higher the volume from him, the better it is for me. So, so we'll see. But I'm not expecting him to have a real high volume. He tends to be fairly measured. He likes to throw everything from that that left side of his. Um, but I also know they're 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 a good camp and. They've already fought me once, so I'm assuming they're they're trying to build something different that I'm not gonna really expect. So I'm doing everything I can to be prepared for everything and anything when when the night comes. Uh, but I've got a few key things that I'm already that I've already looked at in the past. I've been watching Jonathan Martinez for a while now. If you watch his fights, my tweets always pop up during his fights. I'm always giving him shout out. So uh, it's it's good. It's 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 the kind of fights I want to fight, like quality opponents that that uh that I can build, that we can kind of build off each other and, and just make for good matchups. So um, I guess him, there is no animosity, right? Say that again, I'm sorry? Um, against the Martinez, there is no animosity, right? Oh, no, not at all, not at all. Actually, like uh, we both had our after party at the same place when we fought back in Sacramento. So it, oh. it's just one of those. It's kind of, it's business as usual, I suppose. It's nothing really out of the ordinary, I guess. The card on which you're fighting is headlined by the clash between Halle Holm and uh, Kathleen Vieira. Uh, I would like to hear your pick for that fight. Uh, I always got to go with Holly. Like she's, uh, I've been, hey, get out of here. I've been, uh, been watching. Would you mind show, showing? Uh, yeah, yeah, let me grab her. Okay, no worries, please. <laughs> let me see. A little fat, dude. Look at him. Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> that is so cute. That's a that's Atlas. Atlas. Oh, that's a very yeah, nice. Yeah. Name. He's a he's only four months old, so he's still in that little terror phase. You know what I mean? <laughs> when he has to to smash everything. Everything. He eats everything and tries to pee in all kinds of places. So we like if he. That's why I got the room shut with him in here because I'm the only one home right now. So I got to watch it. So like, if, yeah, I'm, yeah. if I'm not watching him, he's getting into something. But uh. But yeah, so I'm, I'm picking Holly in that one. Just, uh, she's, uh, she's essentially a, a legend. She's been around forever. She's, uh, I think she's, she hasn't quite got the respect she deserves in my mind in some ways. And I think people count her out for, on certain things. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pulling for her. I hope she can pull it off. What about a prediction for your fight? For my fight? Um, I know Martinez is a hard guy to finish, but I'm still gunning for the, for the finish. I, I see myself... Uh, Maybe like early second round, uh, see him after working through some things, figuring out his range and timing, um, catching him, hurting him. Uh, he, looks for, he looks to wrestle, and I catch him with the submission. Um, so last time I asked uh, you about your walkout song, 
uh, you haven't you actually hadn't picked it uh, at the time uh, oh, what about this time <laughs> i'm in the same boat again i was thinking about that yesterday um i'm gonna have to go through some of my playlists and see if i can find find the right one uh yeah no, normally i like i like to pick stuff kind of way way ahead of time but uh i've been so i've been in camp mode and doing like four sessions three four sessions a day um i've been just so busy just constantly so i i haven't even got a chance to really sit down and think about it I'll shoot you a message and let you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you. Uh, Vince, uh, before I let you go, do you have any last message? Uh, let's see. Uh, make sure you tune in for the fight. I think this, this is a big one, and it's it's a step in the right direction for where I'm headed, and it's going to be it's going to be looking to make some statements. Um, it's probably not going to be easy, but that's good. I'm lo looking looking to get in there and, and do whatever it takes to, to keep, keep the ball rolling for myself. Uh, so make sure you tune in hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, uh, follow everything. I'm going to be doing some little videos again for, uh, for fight week stuff, a little behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, make sure you follow me, Instagram, Twitter, even TikTok, all of that's at Vendetta135. Um, shout out to all the supporters. Big shout out to John Wood over at Syndicate. I mean, he's been helping. He's, he's the man. He's a little mastermind. Um, yeah, I think that's it, man. Um, I'm just super excited to get back in there finally. And I'm looking forward to watching you compete again. Best of luck with their upcoming fight. Hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. Appreciate it, too. It's always good talking to you. For me, too. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.